Well, what do we have here? Lots of boxes. But don't worry, I haven't bought anything. I've been good. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to look at these. My son has been helping my mother-in-law clear out her loft. And it turns out she's a secret collector. So we're going to have a look at what she's got that she doesn't want anymore. And uh, see what we're going to do with them. Now I believe these are all porcelain dolls and I'm not a porcelain doll collector in the slightest. Uh, but we're going to have a look at them and decide what we're going to do with them. I'm pretty sure I won't be keeping any. Um, but we will have a look. Right, not sure what this one here says. It says limited edition. This is to certify that this doll is a limited edition in autumn 2002. Uh, 820 Anne Wang by the looks of it. So <coughs> she's had this doll for, well, 21 years. So uh, I've never seen her have any dolls on display at all. So I was quite surprised to learn that she had all these dolls. And this doll is, well, it's a... Uh, Oh, it looks like it's a wind-up doll. I'm guessing she's a sleeping doll or something. Uh, <clears throat> yep, so she's definitely not my type of doll. I will I'll try and look up some of these dolls, um, but they will all probably be looking for new homes. Uh, this one will. She's not the sort of doll I would keep. Um, I'm not going to take any of the netting off because obviously she's in um, complete new, new um, condition. So we'll pop her back in there. Well, she probably was in that, I can't remember where she was now. She's probably in this one first, was she? Sit around her head. I'll just put her away. Right, I see the box says that she's a dream doll. Um, but other than that, that's it. So she's obviously a dream doll. Next we've got Laura, who's a Leonardo Collection porcelain doll. So we're going to have a look at her. And here she is. She's uh, quite a pretty doll. Um, she's got a big, big hat on. Very difficult to show it. I did lift my camera up higher, I think, or a bit further away, maybe. Yeah, so that's that's her. So she's a pretty doll. She's got nice clothes on. She's got her her tag on. My name is Laura. Uh, her undergarments. She's sort of got the typical knitting underskirt and bloomers. Sorry about the helicopter, you can hear in the background, I think they must be training, because it's been going for a little while. Right, so we'll put her away. Got another one in this bag, and this looks like another one of the dream dolls. don't think she's got, um, she doesn't have anything to wind on her back. So yeah, she's a interesting doll. Um, I was sort of looking at them review, um, with the thought of perhaps keeping their clothes and uh, using their clothes on one of my other dolls. These might fit my, possibly fit my, no I don't think they're going to be wide enough. I was going to say they might have fitted my 14 inch showing up, but I don't think they'll even do that. The shoes might, but um, it seems a shame to, if I can't use the whole outfit, it seems a shame to just take the shoes. So I will... Yep, so that's another one. She's a bit strange. As I say, they're not really my sort of doll. And we have another one here in a box. I'm going to undo all that. Right, so this one looks like a wedding doll. She certainly looks like it's a wedding dress she's got on. Um, she's foreign. I think she must have been bought overseas by the looks of her. Uh, there's no English on the box at all so if anybody can can read what it says 
Then it says marriage, something love eternal on the back. But yeah, it's obviously got some wedding rings on it. Um, so she looks complete in the box. Yep, you can hear my monsters playing in the background as ever. So she is, sorry, it's really difficult to show them, but she is, she's still fully, fully contained in her box. She's got a very pretty dress on. I think if, if I was to keep any of them, I may keep her because her dress is just beautiful. Um, she's got a little posy of flowers. She's got a little label. So yeah, she's complete. She doesn't have a stand, unfortunately. Let's put her back there. And lastly, we have this one here. She actually has quite a pleasant face. She's in a an outfit that actually looks way too big for her. Um, I mean, the sleeves are just way too long, so I'm not sure it was even her original outfit looking at it. Because um, it just looks way too big. It's quite pretty. I might actually keep this outfit, see if it fits one of my dolls. Um, and she also comes with a chair, so I may keep the chair. Uh, so yeah, if anyone wants a porcelain doll, um, I just have to make sure they're not worth millions, but I very much doubt it. They'll probably be going free, um, but I will check first. But if anyone is interested, they will be available. Um, as I say, unless I discover they actually cost, you know, they're worth money. Um, they will be looking for new homes and I will probably give them away for free as long as somebody is willing to pay for the postage. Um, she actually has a really nice face, but uh, the outfit's just clearly way too big for her. And I think it's way too big all the way around, so I don't know whether she was originally wearing the outfit or not. And uh, yeah, there's a, a bridal one there. I'm not so keen on her face to be honest. I mean, it's pleasant, but. I do like her dress very much. Oops, nearly lost the chair there. So, uh, yep. Okay, right. Well, that's it. I will be back in a couple of seconds. So here we have the dolls. There's Laura. There's the uh, dream type dolls. This one's got her limited edition certificate. And we've got this doll here, who I am probably going to rob the clothes off if it, they'll fit one of my dolls. And we've got the bridal doll. So if anyone would like one of these dolls and is happy to pay postage, please let me know. You can contact me, um, leave a note, a comment um, on this video, and I will then let you know how to contact me. I am contactable via my um, blog which is rosecottagefriends.blogspot.com or via my Instagram which is rosecottagemadeline and I will put the links to both those below in the description box. Okay.